Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Unboxing. I'm not great at these. Let's see what we do. My name is Ian. I'm Reef Sis on Instagram and YouTube. And today I have a Fonamarin Skim Breeze Reactor set. So actually what this is, is a CO2 scrubber from Fauna Marine. Now, I was looking at a few different models and makes. Uh, I was looking at the ATI one, um, and I was looking at the ATI disposable CO2 scrubber. And I wanted something kind of that was compact and worked for me. Um, this wasn't my first choice. I kind of wanted to get that ATI disposable one and see if I could um, use it and then cut it open and reuse it again. And then the other ATI one, the five liter one or four liter, it was huge. I asked the guys in the Seahorse Grams to measure it. I rang them up and they measured it on the phone. They said it was 27 centimeters. 27 centimeters, it's pretty big. As in, it was just too big. Uh, maybe I got those measurements wrong. But anyway, whatever it was, it was too big. So this is the uh, Fawn Marin one. Chap from Instagram and another Irish guy called Paddy suggested this to me. So uh, hey, I said fuck it, I'll get it. Oh, I'm not meant to swear on um, YouTube. Anyway, so this was 59 euros from Seahorse Aquariums. I got it today and it comes with uh, skims. Hey, it comes in this packaging first of all. Oh, you know. It's fun. Um, it comes in packaging full of fucking peanuts. Oh, swore again. Not meant to swear. Anyway, and it's just made in Germany, Skims Breeze. It's effectively just CO2 scrubber media. I'm just opening it up here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. It's just CO2 scrubber media. So you get a free, a free tub of that. Well, not free, you're paying for it, but it comes with it, you know? So that's in the packet. All these peanuts. And inside the box is the scrubber. Well, the container, the reactor, I suppose, yeah. Anything else in here? No. It's like a lucky dip. I don't think there's anything else in here. So it's well packaged and well protected. We'll put that aside real quick. Get up this kind of neat, kind of compact reactor. It's very clean. Really, really nice acrylic. This lid, oh, I see. So it has like a, a, sc a screw off lid as you unscrew it. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a two sheets of perspex or acrylic. And as you tighten it, it's got a rubber gasket that like expands as it gets squashed. And that's what like holds it in place. That's pretty interesting. I like that. Really, really nice quality. I didn't expect it to be as good as that for the price. Uh huh, I see. Now, inside you get two connections. I don't know if you can see them. And then you, oh, I've got a black t shirt on, it's probably not very good. Anyway, you get two connections a big one and a small one for the hoses. And it looks like that screws into the base or the lid just like that. Yeah. And then the whole base is perforated to let the air travel in. So let's put it together hypothetically. We'll tighten that up. That's secure, that's in. And then you attach your air line to your skimmer on here. You don't get any hose. So if your skimmer only has a tiny little hose, you're gonna have to get some extra tubing so just bear that in mind because i didn't bring home any extra tubing from seahorse today but luckily i have some air tubing with me in the house so i can use that now 
just in case we are wondering, this unit is from the ground. Oh, this is the 27. So it's 27, but the nub is coming in about 29.5 centimeters. And the base is 10 centimeters, bang on. That is 10 centimeters exactly. Well, it's actually not. 9.5, so it's 9.5 centimeters wide. Um, that's fully legit, 9.5 centimeters wide. I'd give yourself 10 centimeters of space though. I'm 27 tall, okay? And uh, I think I'm just gonna load that media now, just so we can see what it looks like. It says don't touch it, it says it's like dodgy and all that. Anyway, I'm gonna dump it all in. See, that was a bad idea. I'm still going to do it. <laughs> did, I, did I inhale some of that? I don't know. There's more than enough in there anyway. Look at that. There's still some left. Let's see if that works. That's about right. So even when you fill up the reactor, you've still got another, I'd say about that much in the bottom of the packet. Anyway, that's the video. That's the skin reactor, or not the skin reactor, the, that's the Fauna Marin reactor. It looks pretty cool. I like it. I think uh, it's color changing media, let's just check. Um, English Skims Breeze, let's read it out. Uh, Skims Breeze is a stabilizer for uh, the pH value uh, of your aquarium by reducing the CO2 content. Algae growth is significantly reduced and coral growth is increased. Capacity is a thousand milligrams of skim breeze. Uh, to 500 litres of aquarium volume, sufficient for four to six weeks. Okay, I might not put the, uh, the fun rim one in next time, I'll put the whatever it is, the ATI in, but uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, cool, I hope you liked the video, I hope it gave you a bit of detail into what this is. And uh, like, I don't normally do these, but it's kind of irritating when you're looking online and you can't find any info. So. Just to clarify, again, 27 centimeters tall, about 9.5 wide. It doesn't come with hoses. It was 59 quid with the media as well. Peace, follow me on Instagram and YouTube and uh, I'll do other videos. I'm gonna do a big tank update soon, so enjoy watching that. Bye.